In this video, we'll be highlighting SonarLint for IntelliJ and other IDEs of the JetBrains family. We'll talk about how to install SonarLint, what is the experience while coding, as well as how to set up and what the advantages are of connected mode. Documentation for SonarLint is available at our docs.sonarsource.com website, where you can find more detailed information about all of the topics covered in this video. Getting SonarLint is easy. Simply search for us in the marketplace uh, that you'll find in the plugins area of your JetBrains IDE. Search for us and click install. When prompted, restart the IDE. Out of the box, SonarLint will give you instant static analysis results for any individual file that you open up within the IDE. You'll see the results of this analysis down below. You can click on any of the issues in order to see more information. You'll also see these highlighted in the code as well. On the right hand side of the bottom pane, you'll be able to see a categorization of the issue, uh, as well as an explanation of why it's an issue, some examples of non-compliant code, as well as what that same code would look like with a fix applied, and where to go for more information. SonarLint will also give you feedback on the code files that you're editing as you make your edits. So for example, if you choose to fix a particular issue, and when you see there are no issues in the current file, you know your code is clean. In SonarLint, it's possible to manually adjust which rules are active and uh, inactive at a particular point in time. You can access the rule settings You'll see uh, visible due to the check marks here, uh, which rules are enabled by default, uh, as well as which ones are turned off. So you can simply deselect the rules that you're not interested in or select additional rules if you would like to see those findings. However, there is a better way to do this. If you have an existing Sonar Cube instance or a Sonar Cloud subscription via what we call connected mode, you can activate connected mode uh, under the settings by adding a connection to your Sonar Cube or Sonar Cloud. Give the connection a name. In my case, I'll be using a Sonar Cube instance. Provide the URL for your instance. And you can be guided to create a token uh, that allows Sonar Lint uh, to connect from your IDE up to your shared Sonar instance. And we recommend leaving the setting checked to also receive notifications from SonarCube, uh, which, as you can see on the screen here, will include a change in your quality gate result, uh, as well as any case where new issues have been raised uh, on your Sonar instance for you individually. You will also likely be prompted if SonarLint recognizes that you may have a project open that matches one of the projects uh, defined in your Sonar instance uh, to set up a binding for that project. This is exactly how settings such as the, the quality profile uh, as well as some important clean as you code settings will be synchronized. Uh, so we can choose to uh, configure this binding, uh, choose the instance uh, that we have just set up, uh, as well as then search for uh, the likely match for the project that we have open and set it up. One of the other advantages of connected mode is that as you interact with files, you'll gain the benefit not only of the on-the-fly analysis that SonarLint performs uh, on that file as it's been opened, but also that result will be synthesized with awareness of things like taint vulnerabilities that may have been found during your prior analysis on uh, Sonar Cube with a commercial subscription uh, or Sonar Cloud. You'll be able to inspect these findings, uh, even following the locations across multiple files uh, within the IDE. Uh, so for example, you can follow a path uh, of this particular vulnerability uh, from an incoming HTTP request all the way to the location where finally uh, the vulnerability manifests itself. As with our other issues, You'll be able to also view the documentation for our rules uh, to understand why it's an issue, get some recommendations on how to fix it, 
uh, based on the particular frameworks even that might be involved in the file, as well as where to go for more information. You'll also have the ability within SonarLint, once connected mode is enabled, to do things like mark an issue uh, as won't fix uh, or a false positive uh, as appropriate. And this will actually mark the issue uh, in your Sonar Cube instance or on Sonar Cloud so that your other team members will also not be interrupted by that issue in the future. You might also use connected mode to open one of these uh, vulnerability issues in your Sonar Cube or Sonar Cloud instance. When you do that, this will expose uh, the Sonar UI that would allow you to do things like uh, assign the issue to another member of your team, uh, or perhaps uh, leave a comment on the issue regarding uh, your recommendations for how to approach it, or really anything else that you would like to do to collaborate with your teammates. Connected mode also allows you to follow our clean as you code guidelines by focusing on new code within the IDE. So if your project is configured uh, to identify and differentiate new code from overall code, uh, as it should be on the Sonar Cube or Sonar Cloud side, this will synchronize and only show findings for the code within the IDE that would be considered to fall within that new code definition. And now you'll be limited to only seeing the findings uh, that are uh, recent as per that new code definition. To summarize the advantages of connected mode, this includes synchronization of metadata regarding issues. Uh, so this is now in both directions, meaning uh, any issues that are marked as false positive or one fix on your Sonar Cube server, your Sonar Cloud instance, will be suppressed in the IDE, and you're able to mark issues as such from the IDE uh, for the benefit of the rest of your team. Synchronization of quality profiles will ensure that you're only using the rules that are already configured for enforcement uh, within your team's project. And the clean as you code settings will allow you to focus your attention only on the issues that are truly new for your team. In addition, things uh, not focused on during this video include unlocking the ability to analyze any commercial languages that are only available as part of your paid Sonar subscription, as well as providing live notifications of events like quality gate, uh, status changes, or any time that an issue has been assigned to you directly within the IDE. For more information on SonarLint, you can visit our website at sonarsource.com and find SonarLint listed under our product section. You can come here to find out what's new, to check out what's coming up on the roadmap, and to find a link to our online documentation.